Hi, it's Amanda, welcome to my channel. This is the second video in my new What's in Our Hair Products series. Last week, I presented 17 ingredients. Most, if not all, are likely peppered throughout the products in your own hair stash. With my incessant talk about how I wanna use only the best ingredients, and that's hair, food, body, and let's just throw in mind, leave the toxic behavior at the door. I couldn't even tell you what citric acid or glycol stearate or propanol was, or if they were safe. All I saw were chemical names and just assumed they should all go. If you haven't seen that video yet, go watch it and I'll be right here when you get back, right? <laughs> because it's a YouTube video, it's not going anywhere. In the last video, I walked through 15 ingredients, most of which you needed to read slowly in order to pronounce, and they were pretty much all safe, as determined by the EWG and my quick spot checking research. Who knew? Except for the companies using them, I assume. Of the 15 ingredients, the first 12 are in the Main Like Me shampoo that I am currently reviewing. The brand prides itself on only using quality ingredients, and my personal research leads me to largely agree with this proclamation. The ownership also seems to be very genuine. I've been in contact with them on Instagram since I started reviewing their products, and they just seem like overall good people who are very much, as I keep mentioning, into the education on natural hair. The two remaining ingredients I covered I in fact found to be unsafe and stick around to the end of this video as there will be a related giveaway. Mind you, I'm still trying to figure out the best way to structure this series, but today I wanna to actually continue with shampoos. I can't go through the ingredients in all shampoos, deep conditioners, and stylers just because as you can imagine, that list is possibly endless, but outside of that, even if it's not endless, it's gonna be like over a thousand and no one wants to watch that. But I figure a nice follow-up to last week's video would be walking through the other side, safety in the natural world instead of safety and not so safety, as I mentioned, in the laboratory. This product, Classy Hair's Classy and Whipped Whipped Shampoo, is still my favorite shampoo. And I salivated as I reread the ingredient list while I was doing my research now that I am just like reinvigorated in this whole quest for clean ingredients. But I was also really confused as to how this list of ingredients could actually cleanse my hair and my scalp. Where are the surfactants, the detergents, the soap? So I did an investigation into the entire, thankfully short, ingredient list. I think there's only eight things in here and the results of that research is what I'm going to share with you today. Although, to note, I understand that this is a relatively mild shampoo. Classy hair, classy and whipped is not going to be, you know, stripping the Holy Spirit from your hair. <laughs> I have one week of Mane Like Me left, and then I will be starting with Bo Peep Luxuries. I'll be testing out a couple wash day variants in the three weeks using the products. And as part of that, we'll be using both her clarifying and her moisturizing shampoo. So I'm showing you a mild cleanser in classy hair, and then I'm gonna show you a tough cleanser ripped your hair right out. <laughs> Just kidding. But this is not the kind of thing that you're gonna be using on a weekly basis. Also to note, Bo Peep Luxury specializes in using Ayurvedic ingredients. So I am going to tell you about the product now and then hold you in suspense until I have a chance to review it and see if it is approved by Amanda. Nope. Okay, I was just testing that out and I'm not loving it. So let's start with the ingredients in Classy. Apologies if this video gets very boring from here, just hang on because this is important and useful information. One more thing to note before I get started. As I looked at all of the ingredients, it was funny to me and sort of annoying because it's like, really, is this actually true? To see the overlap of functions among all of these ingredients. All of the individual ingredients, I mean, obviously minus a few, seem to be panaceas for the hair. So what do you choose? Everything seems to eliminate dandruff, cleanse the scalp, stimulate the hair follicles, reduce free radical damage, and cook you dinner. While these are all amazing things, I love that there are people creating products because these people, I assume, have taken the time to study and are hopefully creating concoctions in the right proportions with the optimal portioning based on the function. While one ingredient might do 17 things, it might do four of those things incredibly well. And you know, there's a, there's a tiering. Otherwise, I'd be out here ordering my Brahmi and my Slippery Elm and my plantain leaves and my banana peels and my onion skins, tossing them in a blender at random and spinning. But I assume that wouldn't be to as good effect as I'm gonna get from these commercial products. Let's jump in. Again, stay awake. First up is Classy Hair. Mm. Just like last week, I am going to be reading from my notes because as I mentioned, it's a lot of 
it's a lot of repetitive overlapping stuff I'm about to explain to you and I don't remember. I so don't first remember. on the list is shea butter. This can be very moisturizing for both the hair and scalp and it also serves as a sealant. But as you However, might be aware, there are a lot of people that don't react well to shea butter. Shea butter, glycerin, and coconut oil are the hot button items for some people. The second ingredient here, and this is also in the Honey's Handmade Chocolate Dip line that does really well in my hair. I did not know this, but Amla helps with cleansing. It is high in vitamin C and therefore boosts collagen production. It strengthens hair follicles, increases scalp circulation, aids against premature aging. It's an antioxidant, so it protects against free radical damage, and it cleanses the scalp. I had no idea that it was a cleanser, but as you can see, that's also the second ingredient, which means it's the second most prominent ingredient in the product. So that is what is cleansing your hair. Next on the list is green tea extract. Due to its rich antioxidant content, just to note, pretty much everything that I'm gonna talk about today is an antioxidant. It too protects against free radical damage as an antioxidant, and in doing so helps prevent hair loss and improves overall hair health and therefore growth. I didn't find as much specifics on the green tea extract, but it is aiding the hair as I've just mentioned. Banana extract contains something called silica, which helps synthesize collagen as well. So we've got collagen coming from two directions and may also help with frizz. I was also intrigued to hear that silica is actually related to silicone. Silicones form a film over your hair, but it will also in the end dry it out. But temporarily it does provide an appearance of glossiness and shine. You're getting the same thing from the banana extract, but it's actually there to stay. Also, it has antimicrobial properties that can heal a flaky and dry scalp, therefore also relieving dandruff. And the extract, surprise, surprise, has been known to be both antibacterial and antioxidant and conditions hair. Next, we've got jojoba oil, which is high in vitamins C, B and E, copper and zinc. It also strengthens hair and moisturizes the scalp. Apricot oil moisturizes and softens both hair and scalp and seals in moisture. Peach oil retains color, so it's good for color treated hair. And it is an emollient and also a good sealing oil. Last on the, again, very short ingredient list, we've got vitamin E oil. This helps to improve overall scalp and hair health, mainly also known as an antioxidant, which ultimately protects the body cells. And it is also a sealing oil. I mean, this is, this is clean. Like this is like, Lysol. I still wanted to do some research to understand what these things actually did, but it wasn't research to determine if they were safe. I do wonder how these products are preserved, given that there are no preservatives in them, and they've held up pretty well for me so far. Let me give it a swift. It still smells the same. Oh, it smells really good. I don't remember it smelling this good when I first got it. It smells like a sweet candy, like a strawberry candy. It smells so good. Anyway, I don't know also where that fragrance is coming from. Peach oil, it might smell like peach. This is my favorite shampoo. I used it multiple times. On multiple occasions, I did not have an itchy scalp for a week, so I know that it was getting my hair clean. It's very gentle, it's incredibly moisturizing. And like, I know it works because I've used it multiple times. I don't know if you can see in there. You cannot, you cannot, you cannot. Take my word for it. There, oh, you can, there you go. I just love this shampoo. And I love that there are only eight ingredients. Classy, just, they brought it. So as I mentioned, I might not have mentioned, I don't have the shampoo that I'm going to be talking about yet. It will be here in time for the review. I only have her moisturizing one. She was nice enough to provide the products that I currently have, but it's not in her company packaging, so I'm not even gonna show them. I did then go ahead and order the other products that I wanted to review because I really wanted to make sure that I did a full review and I was also really excited to try these products. The shampoo that I'm gonna be talking about is called Awakening. And let me just give you a little introduction to reinforce, and again, I don't remember if I said this. <laughs> I recorded this entire video without actually recording it. You can imagine how I felt when I went to go press stop and I press start. But anyway, I don't remember what I said this time around. Okay, so just about this shampoo. This one will rip the gods from your hair. Awakening is not an everyday wash day shampoo. I cannot stress that enough. Awakening will detox the hair and scalp, but it will reset you back to zero. But your hair will have more curl definition. 
It will also absorb water and hair products much better without any blockage so your scalp can benefit from all the nutrients in your next steps. So I assume when I apply this shampoo that I'm also gonna be applying it to my scalp. I'm not gonna be doing that whole bathing in shampoo thing and I'll just let it run down, which I don't normally do. Normally I'm just like all in there with the shampoo all over my head. She strongly suggests pre-pooing your hair prior to using the shampoo to protect your hair from too much moisture loss. This is the entire ingredient list. Castile soap, peppermint black soap, I think that's just black soap with like peppermint infused. Water infused with shikakai. Shikakai, if you look on YouTube, people are always doing shikakai versus bentonite clay comparisons. So I assume it's the same kind of thing. Ringraj, fenugreek, slippery elm, licorice root, onion skins, peppermint leaves, yucca, plantain leaf, tea tree essential oil, and sweet almond oil. I mean, can you get cleaner? One of the things I'm gonna be doing as I review these ingredients I'm not going to be looking at the websites to see what they say about ingredients. Not that I think they're lying. I think that Ashley, the person that owns this company, I have again spoken to her on Instagram. She's actually one of my subscribers, which was funny to hear about when I reached out to her about getting some product. A friend alerted me to this brand and I was so excited after looking at her products that I reached out to her on Instagram only to find out that she was already following me and then it turned out she also is a subscriber on my YouTube channel. So that was also just like a bee in my bonnet. That's a good thing, right? Bees sting. Do you want one in your bonnet? Not that I'm not trusting her, but I am going to be holding everyone to the same standard. So I did my own independent research. And then I went back and looked at my research versus what she has here. And, you know, everything pretty much lines up. And I recommend that you, and I recommend that you take a look here. I did my light just died. Sorry. And I recommend that you take a look too if you are interested, which you should be. So, Castile Soap. This is strong enough to cleanse the scalp of excess sebum and product, but gentle enough to not leave your hair completely stripped and dry. And from my research, I understand that it is not good for color treated hair. Peppermint Black Soap. Again, I think it's just black soap with peppermint in it. Black soap nourishes the scalp with nutrients, strengthens hair follicles for anti-aging. It's high in oil and glycerin content, so that adds moisture while cleansing and defining the curl pattern. And it promotes hair growth by increasing blood circulation to the scalp. From what I understand, by the way, for people that have glycerin sensitivities, I think it's more for ingredients that you are leaving in your hair. So if your styling products have glycerin in them. The next was water infused shikakai. Shikakai fights dandruff, nourishes your hair follicles, cleanses your scalp and hair, stops hair loss, and promotes hair growth. Brahmi increases blood circulation in the scalp, stimulating hair follicles, and Bringraj promotes hair growth, strengthens hair, aids against premature graying. A lot of these products also protect against premature graying, just to note, and fights dandruff. Fenugreek, as a rich source of protein, this can strengthen the hair follicles. This can also regulate the oil production in your scalp, so it's good for both dry scalp and oily scalp. It can prevent premature graying, it adds a natural sheen, moisturizes, can thicken the hair strand, and is also antifungal. And according to her website, it's also great for slip. Slippery Elm, <laughs> surprise, surprise, is also good for slip, so it makes detangling a lot easier. It's rich in calcium and therefore promotes hair strength and it treats dry hair by adding moisture and reducing hair fall. Licorice root protects against hair loss, dandruff, and chemical damage. It's soothing on the scalp and includes a minty little tingle that stimulates the hair follicles and therefore can help with hair growth. As you know, anything that is stimulating the hair follicles and increasing blood circulation is helping with stimulating hair growth. Onion skins are high in antioxidants, which help manage free radical infections it softens, smooths, and also helps to eliminate dandruff. I didn't include everything here, but when I did my research on onion skins, it seems like onion skins is like somewhat of a superfood. Who would have thought? I actually, I make rice pretty much like every day, and I started putting the second layer because I don't want to wash the onion skin. I put the second layer of onion skin in the rice cooker when I'm cooking the rice, so all of the nutrients from the onion skin can infuse into the water that is cooking the rice. And it also gives it a little bit of flavor. So that's a cool little tip if you, if you make rice and you'd like to try this out. Peppermint leaves, treats dandruff, 
soothes the scalp and promotes hair growth by stimulating the hair follicles. Yucca, which tastes great, and cleanses your hair, reduces inflammation and itchiness. The plantain leaf has antiseptic and antimicrobial properties and aids in reducing scalp conditions such as dandruff, dry scalp, and specifically psoriasis. The leaf can be used as a hair rinse to remove product buildup, debris, and excess oil, and to condition with both moisture and protein. Sweet almond oil controls hair loss and can restore the oil layer on the hair shaft. The last one here, which is one above sweet almond oil in the ingredient list, I actually don't have in my directory. So let me just go back to her site and just tell you, I think we all have an idea about the stimulation of the hair follicles and all of that. But tea tree oil is for, she doesn't talk about it either, but I'm just going to make sure that I'm, I, I'm sure, I'm pretty sure I, uh, ah, you know what? I actually have a V look up here and I, have a slight difference in the name. So that's why it didn't show up. On her website, she calls it Tea Tree EO, which I assume stands for essential oil. In my database, I have it as Tea Tree, so it didn't pull it in. But anyway, so Tea Tree cleanses. It is both antifungal and antibacterial, and it strengthens the hair and reduces dandruff. So that was the entire ingredient list between two different products, two incredibly clean products, there was no overlapping of ingredients. There are just so many amazing ingredients out there that I had never heard of, never considered that yucca, the thing that, you know, you see like yucca fries. I never occurred to me just to grind those up and just, that's not how it works, I'm, I'm joking. Plantain leaves, onion skins, I mean, that was eight products with classy hair and, and 14, I think that's right, with Bo Peep. So we are at 22 ingredients between two products. 22 amazing ingredients, and this is the giveaway that I mentioned. I actually just reached 100 subscribers on my Instagram. I know 100's a really small number, but I started out at like 38, and this has been complete organic growth. This is turning out to be a very slow growth journey, but I'm having so much fun making these videos. And I feel like I have just met so many people through doing this, which is exactly what I wanted to do. And I have so much fun talking with all of you in my comments. So let me just give a little bit of background on the giveaway. I want to be fully transparent about why I'm doing this. In my last video, I did come across two ingredients that I was not happy to read about. One of them is a formaldehyde releaser. And the other one is, it sounds like it's toxic if it gets inhaled. I encourage you to do your own research. I know everyone doesn't care about this the kind of thing. You might feel perfectly fine using them. You might have been using them for years and you continue, you plan to continue using them. No judgment whatsoever. It's just, as I mentioned briefly in my last video, I want something safe enough that I can put in my one-year-old's hair. I don't want to have to rely on a company using, I mean, some concentration level below X to make sure that it's safe. I understand this is not a good advertisement, but as I said, a lot of people don't care about what I'm saying right now. And if you're one of those people, enter. I was planning on reviewing these products as part of my BOB 123, but because I haven't opened them yet and because of the ingredient discovery, I do wanna just do a giveaway. As I mentioned, I kind of got off topic. I just reached 100 subscribers on my Instagram like yesterday. So let's call this my 100 subscriber giveaway. The Extreme Hydration Gentle Shampoo. The Honey, it's a three-in-one. The Extreme Hydration Curling Custard. Sorry, Styling Custard. The Blueberry Cheesecake Deep Conditioner. Extreme Hydration Cream Gel. Extreme Hydration Conditioning Mask. OMG, which I believe is another conditioning mask. And I have this Mango Berry Daily Hair Spritz. I will say as I'm pulling these out and I'm looking at them, they're just so enticing looking. Like I would love to keep these, but I'm not going to. The two ingredients, again, do your own research if you'd like to and decide whether or not you would like these products. The two ingredients are diazolidinyl urea, as I mentioned, and idopropanol butacarbamate. So, <clears throat> this is my first time doing something like this. I thought there was like something to it, but I think I just tell you what I want you to do. You do it and then I will use like a random picker to find a winner. Since I can make any requests, let's say to enter this giveaway, 
follow me on Instagram. You can find the link on my YouTube channel or just go to I'm Uptight Curls by Amanda on Instagram as well. There might be underscores. Follow me on Instagram and don't follow me to enter the giveaway and then just stop following me. That's just grimy. You have to be subscribed to my YouTube channel. In a comment below, give me a video idea. Tell me what video you want me to make. <laughs> I'm really just trying to help myself out here with these giveaway criteria. But in terms of thumbnails, I want to know, do you like thumbnails with zero text, like less than three words or just something? Else? If it's because of the thumbnail, I want to know what makes you click on a hair tutorial. I know that was confusing. Let me repeat. You have to be subscribed to my channel. Follow me on my Instagram, Uptight Curls by Amanda. Give me a video idea, something that you would like to see me do a video on. And tell me about your thumbnail preferences. If you like lots of words, less words, large pictures, face images, like tell me anything. Um, sorry, I'm giving you a lot of homework, but I'm also giving away eight products. So just um, humor me, don't humor me. Give me legitimate answers. This is possibly the most annoying giveaway that you've come across, but I hope you enjoyed this video. If you've tried Bo Peep Luxuries before, or classy hair, let me know what you thought of them. And if you haven't, if you have any other brands that you're aware of that make products like I just presented, I would love to know because I would love to review them. I'm not putting down any of the other brands that I have reviewed. I told you, the ingredients in Maine Like Me are very high quality. The ingredients in pretty much all of these brands are very, very high quality. It's just that me as a person, I like to go natural. So, that is why I would like to do that. But again, I do product reviews. I don't wanna say as a living because I don't do this as a living. I don't make any money from it. But I do product reviews because I love it and I love testing out new products. But it's just that I get, I'll get extra excited about trying out something with an ingredient list like this or in the Bo Peep Luxuries products. I feel like this is a really long ending. Like, comment, share, if you haven't done so already and you like my content, please consider subscribing and hit that bell notification if you don't mind pop-ups. Thanks for watching and have a good one. <laughs>